BR549 here and I'd like to show a little transformer project that I've been working on and basically what I have is a parallel path set up with my core, two magnets, uh, my control coils, T3 and T4 and my uh, output coils T1 and T2. I've also added a flux bypass loop here with a coil on it and a flux bypass loop here with a coil on it. Uh, this is driven by an H-bridge circuit and that H-bridge circuit looks like this basically an oscillator down here adjustable uh, made with a 40 49 hex inverter uh, set up as an oscillator and the output of that feeds um, two FET drivers and uh, which are optically isolated and the FET drivers are set up in an H-bridge configuration. These FET drivers are rated at about uh, two and a half amps or so. So the output of which gives me my H-bridge output up here which goes to the input coils which are in series of my transformer the output of my H bridge goes through a AC amp meter and the output of my transformer also goes directly through an AC amp meter so I'm measuring the current for the input directly and the current for the output directly through these AC amp meters. Okay. So this is my setup here and I'm going to take the camera off the tripod here. And this is my H bridge setup where these are my two FET drivers and my uh, 40 49 hex inverter chip and uh, a uh, potentiometer here for frequency adjustment. This is nothing here. This is nothing here. Uh, the output of my uh, H bridge goes through a 10 microfarad capacitor uh, through my meter uh, to my coil. Now I'm monitoring uh, my input voltage and my output voltage. This is my input voltage. This is my output voltage. Uh, I'm measuring the RMS voltage for my input and the RMS voltage for my output. So let's switch this power supply on and I'm feeding my H bridge uh, 4.1 volts and which again goes from my H bridge through my amp meter up here and then back to my coil which feeds these two coils here which are my switching coils and then the output of this transformer goes up through my other meter measures the AC milliamps and so my RMS voltage 
which we'll write. I've already written these down to save time. Uh, for my input, and we're running about uh, 56 hertz. Um, my RMSN is three point, jumps around, but it's going from say 3.3 to 3.9 volts RMS. So we'll go with the highest reading. And my output voltage uh, runs about uh, around uh, 900 millivolts. Okay. And my input current as a little over seven milliamps. My output current is a little over 49 milliamps. So we'll round that off a little bit. So I've already done this ahead of time to save time. So my uh, uh, RMS voltage 3.92 input, AC current endpoint 0 0.007697. I take the calculate the input power for that, and it comes out to be, which is my input voltage times my current, my RMS voltage times my current, which comes out to be about 0 0.032 watts. My RMS voltage out is 1.51. My AC current out is point is uh, 50 milliamps. My output power is my RMS voltage out times my AC current out is about 0 0.0755 watts. So if I calculate my power gain using those two wattage numbers, wattage out divided by wattage in comes out to be 0 0.0755 watts divided by 0 0.032 watts which seems to be a COP of 2.36. So assuming that I'm doing my calculations right, um, my meters are identical and in uh, they're both direct in series, in series with my input. This meter's in series with my output. Um, looks like I'm getting a little more out than I'm putting in. That's all I've got right now. Thank you and have a wonderful day.